dollar bill, yo. Sundown Urban Radio, man. The one and only DJ Malone. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that was groundbreaking. Earth Saturn, Young Sightown, the theme mix. <laughs> you know that's our first time ever doing that. Hey, that's love, man. How, how'd you like the mix? Hey, that's dope, man. You, you you went back. You went back a little bit. I had to. I yeah. had to, man. So, now, let me ask you some questions, G. I want to get into you. I want, I want, we're going to cover all the surface of what you do. All right, so check this out. Me, personally, I'm a guy, when I hear my song getting played anywhere, like the Derriere song, like, to me, like, I get happy. So how do you feel when you hear your song being played on the radio, on a mixtape? What's your feeling? To be honest with you, man, hey, it's a wonderful feeling. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Because you talking to a person that's, you know, that that's, that's been through... So much, you know what I mean. So to honestly get that, that type of love, man, and that, and and that, and that support, you know, that means a lot. Definitely, you know what I mean. Definitely. Um, me, I think, I think a lot of people, they see like, I'm gonna put it like this. I think when you say Young Side Town, you can't just say an artist because you do so many different <laughs> avenues. Um, you you do the mixtape posting. Yeah. Um, why why go in that lane? Why just you know, uh, or do you want people to hear your voice? I mean, with, with how Mi- you mixtape hosting, man, like that's something that I, I really I enjoy because I can I can really really talk my ish. Definitely, you know what I'm saying. So, definitely. you know, I definitely love doing it though. Give me give me three albums in your whole life that really meant something to you. Uh, three albums, man. Blueprint by Jay Z. Okay. Um, Life after death. Okay. Machiavelli. Oh wow. Were you going through? <laughs> were, were, For real. Were, were you going through something at that time, or was it just? I mean, you really just really vibe to it. A, a little bit of his and theirs. Okay. You know what I mean? I say that a little bit of his and theirs, but. Them joints right there, man. Still to this day, it's my favorite. Definitely, man. I want. Uh, let's get into my check now. My check. What is the purpose of the song? I mean, just in case that some people are stupid out there, but what is the purpose of the song? My check is basically, man. You know, um, <laughs> it's self-explanatory. It is. Is is my check? Like, you know, what I'm saying, it's rather a person owe you some money. Or uh, you getting some money? You getting some money? You feel me? So, whatever your situation is, especially when it has to do with money, money, yes, that's your check. How do you feel like? <laughs> do you feel like a lot of artists need to learn the business game of this music industry? Because a lot of artists don't. They just let their so-called managers. Just man, running. look, I'm gonna be honest. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these quote unquote managers don't even know what they even talking about. They sending these artists off. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no type of connects when it comes down to really getting their artists seen or heard. You know what I'm saying? Let alone conducting business. Definitely. So I think, far as like for artists that's actually out there, really just learn the business on your own. Yeah. Be your own manager. I mean, everything is right there in front of you. Instead of being on Facebook 24-7, get on YouTube and watch music uh, mu- music conferences and label conferences and things like that. Everything is right there in front of you, man. So it's not really... It's not really... Um, you can't really just fake the funk with it. I just say that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. everything is right there. Like... What? How to sign up to BMI? Go on YouTube. Yeah. They'll show you how to sign up. How to create an iTunes account. Go on you. Everything is there. They, I mean, the information is there. Definitely. But a lot of people is lazy. They don't want to do that. They know it all already. Mm. Okay. Me personally, I, I, in this day of age, I never want to hear a person say, I didn't know. Because back when we were teenagers, we didn't have the internet capabilities like we do now. I'm not saying that we're dinosaurs, but 
when we were kids, we we were coming into dollar. And we didn't, and, you know, Google wasn't Google the way it was. I mean, it was, what, Yahoo? Um, yeah, I, re- hey, well, I remember those days, man. Oh, so, my God. So, yeah. Dollar. Woo-wee. So, I mean, I think a lot of times people have to understand that it's, it's at your disposal. Mm-hmm. I can type up right now on my phone. Like, yo, like, how do I get booking or a booking agent or whatever? Google will pop yeah, everything that up. is right there. So, everything is right there. Now, I'm going to go into a time machine real quick. Okay. Now, we, when we, now, when you were a kid, who were some of your influences? Like, you know, growing up, like, far as rapping goes, um, was it, it, like, for me, it was Tupac, Biggie, um, Rakim. Who were some people that you listened to growing up? Um, I listen to a lot of different types of music, not just one particular sound either, man. Like, I remember listening to my first L O Cool J song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then you know I crossed over a little bit because of my grandma and you know my cousin them from the south, Johnny Taylor, really? Tyrone Davis. Oh man, you know what I'm saying. And then you know we came back up some. You know what I'm saying from the Biggie to the E40 to Bone Thugs and Harmony to you know what I'm saying? So it's like I had a mixture of all different types of sounds. BB King, you know what I'm saying? Um the five heartbeats. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's why like my sound wise is so open because I'm not just that one sounded type of person since I was already introduced to so as being young. Really? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm not afraid to hop on any type of song. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a drill artist. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't do drills, <laughs> all that other stuff. Really? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, I make good music, man. You know, that's how I feel. I make good music. That's real. And um, you know, the people rock with me, man. And then I'm honest, man. I'm honest in my music. Real. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna be talking about going to pop somebody if I never done it. Real. You know what I'm saying, man? But if I have or if I haven't, that's none of your business. I'm not gonna promote that because it's, it's already a, a, a enough of that going a lot on of these all, cats, out here already. A lot of these cats are criminating themselves. Yeah. And, and it's stupid as hell to me because my whole thing is if you ain't never lived that life then don't don't speak on it. Don't betray it man. And, and a lot of these people especially uh, like Slim Jesus man oh, uh, man. portraying a lifestyle man that you know a lot of people has died man. I lost cousins and family members and a lot of people has lost people, you know, due to like gun violence and and for a person to really play around like that, you know what I'm saying, just to get some type of recognition off of something that you basically was hearing other artists from Chicago actually really doing and really just take that whole sound and really turn it into yours, but now it's like is 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 backfiring. Real. You know what I'm saying? Because now you put yourself out there. You already told these people, I don't live that life. I'm not about that. I just make the music that sounds good to me. But okay, in these videos, you're waving around prop guns. You're doing all this other extra shit. You know what I'm saying? But now yeah. you backlash it. So now that makes you look like a fake. Now you upset because now you got people that really does live that life coming at you all types of different ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel that, you man. know. I feel that. Sidetown Urban Radio, man. We're here with Young Sidetown. I'm kind of sick, so <laughs> like I said, you guys cannot hear my sexy voice as you normally do. This guy, man. 312-754-4333 is the number to call in. Um, if you want to talk to Young Sidetown, ask him a question, give him props. Please, there's no negativity. That's all I ask. No negativity, please. So call in if you want to, man. We're here talking. It's all good, though. Negativity is good, too. I, I give them I give them that open space you know what I mean like I'm open to it you know in this in this game you know you have to be ready for whatever you know because yeah. you got a lot of people that's not gonna like what you're doing you yeah. know what I'm saying and that comes and it just don't have nothing to do with just music that just that's life period just, that's life period you Definitely. know what I'm saying so I mean anybody opinions or have you might feel man I'm open to it Definitely. you know what I'm saying I don't I don't get too balled up into my emotions man because at the end of the day Everybody got their own ways of how they might feel about a situation, which is okay. Definitely, man. Mm-hmm. Let's play a game real quick. <laughs> Favorite five. 
Now, check this out. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You just tell me whatever your favorite thing is. Okay. So, favorite movie of all time? <laughs> the Little Rascals, man. Little Rascals. <laughs> Alpha, Alpha. <laughs> yes, man. Hey, you know what? They were That's some my clever. Movie, man. They were some clever <laughs> cats. They was. Hey, but you know what though? Straight up. They remind me of these kids nowadays because they're they were too clever. Yeah. I love the movie. I love uh, when he said, "Hey, Alpha, Alpha." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my jam. And I never knew. I always thought that that was a girl, the the black dude yeah. or whatever. I always thought that that was a girl. Whoa. Whoa. I just now figured out that that was a that was a that was a guy that was oh, a man, guy a little boy a little boy a little boy a little boy okay uh favorite place to eat Applebee's hey shout out to matter of fact yeah shout out to all the Applebee's out there in the world shout out to everybody the one right there by Four City hey you know every time we go in there it's it's something it's love it's love shout out there. to the ones over there on ninety fifth right off of uh what is that. Western is right off of Western, man. So shout out to the Applebee's over there on 95th, the ones over there by Four City Mall. Shout out to you around the world. Shout out to you. Favorite time, <laughs> favorite time of the year. Favorite time of the year. Mm. See, that's hard. That's hard right there. Um, you like the winter time? The summertime is the best for me. I say the summertime. Summertime. I say the summertime. Okay, okay. Favorite rapper of all time. Favorite rapper of all time. Of all time? All time. I say, I would say Biggie, man. Biggie. Yeah. Biggie over Pop. Biggie, man. Pac, I, he he's definitely the next after for real, but but Biggie, yeah, yeah, okay, definitely. Now you feel me? Now let me ask you this then. Give me something that somebody doesn't know about you. Give me one thing that that you would that nobody knows about you that 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 you know somebody would. Uh, damn, I, that's I didn't know that. That's that's cool. Um, I'm a real goofy individual, man. Like. I'm 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 weird in a way, I would definitely say that, but I'm 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 really goofy, okay. Like for real, like I'm goofy and I'm a geek too, man. I love my technology, you know what I'm saying? I, I love lie. my computer. I, I love all that. I, I am too. I don't don't. <laughs> for real though, for real though, man. Definitely okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, let's talk about the videos that you do, because okay. you do videos as well. Just in case anybody didn't know, so. What made you want to get into the videos and you know what what for me what made me is just i i i only know what i want to see and i can't it, it takes a special individual to get me to that point mm -hmm. so what i mean why did you want to start into the to video? be honest with you um before i really started doing videos like i used to contact like people who shoot videos and i ain't gonna lie a lot of they uh, a lot of a lot of people prices wasn't in my budget you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie it wasn't in my budget Real. and um i actually i just i remember going to best buy and um i actually <laughs> i picked up me a bloggy okay you remember the, the, the bloggy yeah, joints yeah yeah and i still got it to this day i oh, picked up a man. bloggy and i went and got pinnacle oh wow. and i shot my first music video with that joint and ever since then Oh, it's been game over. Okay, it's been game over. What would you say that your style is? Are you more? Are you more into like your like a hip hop style? Is it more formal? What What would you say your style of filming is? Um, I mean, I'm open to everything, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna really put a particular it on it, but I'm open to anything, man. You okay. know, but usually, you know, it's like the urban, of course. And, um, you know, like I say, I, I venture out to, you know, other things, man, because I'm open. So, definitely. Hey, man, we're here with Young Side Time, man. We're talking to Rio here. Like yeah. I said, if you want to call in, 
754-4333 is the number to call in. And if you want to be a guest on here, make sure you hit up SightownOfRail at gmail.com. Yay. Hit up the Facebook, Instagram at Sighttown Urban Radio. Facebook, Twitter, everything where they can find you at Sighttown. Oh, you already know YoungShotTown.com, man, is the website. You can find my Twitter, my Instagram, uh, my like page, my iTunes, all that other good stuff, man. News, videos, etc. man. You know okay. how we do it. Definitely. Now, well, before we go, before we get into the mix, I have to know, what producers would you like to work with? Who, who would you like to work with? Um... Any in any range, it could be mainstream, indie. What producers would you like to work with? Zaytoven, I like that. Zaytoven, hey, I definitely want to work with you, bro. Definitely, For real. and let's make that happen then. So, um, also, you're a fleet DJ, MTM DJ, coast. Uh, you you with the coast to coast? No, I'm not. A, I'm not a coast to coast DJ. Okay. No, I'm not a coast to coast, but I'm definitely repping fleet. DJs and MCM DJs and um, you know my own little joint on actually starting up uh, I actually been doing it but it's kind of been like under the covers though let's let's talk about trunk music you <laughs> I want to talk about trunk music yeah how did what where did that name come from trunk music USA trunk music man came from to be honest with you okay my pops right shout out to him salute Definitely. um he always had like sounds and stuff, man. I think I came out the womb listening to sounds. I don't know what in the world, but he basically, I, I would actually say just off the strength of him and, and, and just to be real, because of the bass in the trunk. That's Definitely. basically what it came from. That's why every song that you hear, man, they gotta have that bass. If it don't have bass, I don't want it. Definitely, man. Well, let's get into the mix right now. It's your boy, DJ Malone, Sightown Number Radio, Young Sightown, Monty the Motive, Let's go. 